Welcome back. So today we are going to do our first toe test with the new Duramax to see how it does. It's winter here in Utah. Um, it's January, even though it doesn't look like it because we haven't had much snow, but the trailer's all winterized and put away. So the biggest thing we had to tow is my dad's tractor with his tilt bed trailer. So that's what we're going to hook onto and we're going to do probably a 40 to 60 mile tow test to just see how it does. Um, we had nothing else going on, so might as well hook on and go tow something. First thing I notice when hooking on, they finally fixed the safety chain hook. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera here, but usually you have to get some sort of shackles or whatever to hang down, but these hooks actually can fit in and they're in a location where you can reach them. The last few years, it didn't matter what brand of truck, but where you hook those safety chains in just sucked. What we're going to be towing today, this is a Walton tilt bed trailer with a 14,000 pound limit. We have it tilted up and we're going to be towing my dad's Kubota tractor. It should be a you know fairly good load. Um, I'm guessing right around 10,000 pounds, but we'll go weigh it on the cat scale and see what it comes out to. First thing I notice, as soon as you hook up, um, it gives you all sorts of options on the screen. You can program in your trailer, it has a checklist, it even has a start light test. So you press the start light test and it starts running through your signals. And now I don't have to have Kara back there telling me if they're actually working. It's going to sit and play these and I can run back and check to make sure everything's working. So let's go back and make sure everything's working. That's really nice. Everything is working. Um, so I just press stop on the light test. Now I can check my cameras, all that sort of stuff, checklist. Um, I can program in the trailer if I'd like. I'm just going to do a guest trailer because um, I don't tow this one very often. Settings, um, just all the different things you can do there. But um, we'll play around with it as we go down the road. On the screen here, as soon as I turn it to tow haul, it changes the dash and my transmission temperature now shows up, which I love to watch the transmission temperature. Anybody that tows really should watch their transmission temperature. And with our last truck, I always felt it ran way too hot, even though they said that's just what they run. I'll be interested to see if this does the same thing. Um, I forgot our haul gauge, uh, so I can't just plug in and figure out what we weigh. So we have to go down to the cat scale um, and run over that. So let's head on down, run over that, and then we'll see how this thing does. I'm really liking this rear view mirror that's a camera. It just, it's so much wider field of view. And I don't know if it shows up on the camera or not, but this little camera rear view mirror is awesome. Okay, Kara, so what did we weigh? So we are, gross weight um, is 18,800. Uh, trailer axle is 8,800, drive axle 5,320, and your steering is 4,680. All right, so about what I thought. It's probably about 10,000 pounds because this truck's curb weight's like 8,300 or something like that. So, yeah, about 10,000 pound load. About what you were thinking of? Yeah, a, a good enough for our first tow. All right, so first thing, we're gonna get on the freeway here. It's a fairly good incline up here. We'll see if we can get up to freeway speed by the time we are supposed to, or at least, you know, 55, 65, somewhere in there, um, climbing up this hill. Accelerating pretty good, though. Yes. Not a problem at all on that. Feels the same. Um, we're at 55 now. I mean, I don't have my foot mashed. We're at just under 3,000 RPM. but climbed up it pretty good. 65 miles per hour there. So freeway speed's gonna be 75 miles per hour, so we'll probably stay a little bit under that. I don't like towing too fast. As we're cruising down the freeway, 
really smooth and quiet. Um, I don't know if the microphone's picking up any road noise or whatever. Uh, in the Ford, we really couldn't even film in the truck because the road noise was so horrible. Uh, so hopefully we can start filming in the truck again. Getting up to freeway speed didn't feel like it worked the engine hardly at all. I mean, it is only a 10,000 pound load, so nothing for this, you know, caliber of truck. Beautiful day out there today. For January in Utah, you don't get these bluebird days very often. Usually it's smoggy and just cruddy or blizzard or whatever. So um, we're going to not like it when summer comes and we don't have any water, but for right now, not too awful. One thing I didn't even know until I hit my blinkers the first time once I hooked the trailer on was this the display here switches and gives you a whole side perspective that really makes it nice so you don't have any blind spots at all going down the side of your vehicle. I think it's going to take a while for me to get used to that because I'm so used to just using my mirrors, which I'll still use my mirrors, but it's just that one extra thing, <laughs> yeah. you know? Well, you're and, always like so leaned over looking. Yeah, a lot of times I'm looking, try, trying to change my viewpoint, you know, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff, so. Just making sure there's nothing. Yeah, to make sure there's nothing going wrong. Missing. I do have the tow haul mode on and the exhaust brake on, and we're gonna climb up Nephi Canyon here in Utah. It's not a huge canyon, but it should give us an idea of how the tow haul mode works and how the exhaust brake works. With all these new diesel trucks, the exhaust brake is just, it's amazing. Um, I don't know how I towed for so long without well, it. Well, even without a load, it's nice. So we're cruising at 75 miles per hour now and can't even feel anything behind us. I mean, I, I can tell it's there, but it's not seeming to weigh the engine down at all. It's just quiet and this new 10 speed shifts so smoothly um don't notice a lot of shifting i wish it did say what gear i was in just for my own curiosity and maybe there's a way to adjust that up here on the screen but um i don't know this test is not going to be a flat tow test um i am going to check miles per gallon i bet it's going to be somewhere around 10 miles per gallon because like my buddy jed says and i've said many times on this channel is there's those of us that get 10 miles per gallon and those that lie about it and every diesel truck I've had um, since our 2015 Ram has got 10 miles per gallon towing. It might do a little bit better because this isn't a lot of wind with this tractor, but I mean, it's still enough that it's probably will drop our miles per gallon down around that 10 mile per gallon range, especially with some climbing. I can already tell that I'm gonna have to watch um, my speeds. It's really easy to go way faster than I should be. I looked down there for a second, was going 78. <laughs> um, and I don't like to tow that fast, so. I've dropped it back down to 72 now, just try to hold there. The mirrors extend out really nice. Um, give you pretty good visual down the sides. I can't wait to tow the fifth wheel and see how it does down the sides of those because the Ford's mirrors were awesome and I hope these are as good. They did seem to extend out quite a ways so um, hopefully that maintains what I used to have because there was no blind spots with the Ford and I hate blind spots. As for the rider I'm not noticing any I call it bucking, bouncing of the trailer, anything like that. There's not any excess you know pulling one way or the other. It's just a very nice, smooth ride. Uh, granted, there is no weather, I should say inclement weather today to, yeah. in, you know, encourage some of that motion from a trailer. Uh, but so far, so good. Now we're going to start up uh, Nephi Canyon here. And it'll probably be about another 10 miles of not a super heavy pull, but, you know, it, it's a little uphill with some curves and stuff so it'll be interesting to see how the trailer and the truck respond with those sharper turns and stuff at speed so
we're at the turnaround point. Uh, we've climbed up Nephi Canyon. Truck did awesome. Felled a few downshifts. Um, climbed right up at, at, at the speed limit. So now we're going to head on down and see how the exhaust brake works. It might not even be steep enough to really get the exhaust brake to work. But we'll see what it does. And then back on the freeway and home and we'll check the miles per gallon and weights and all that sort of stuff. Um, we get a reway with the cat scale, so we'll drop off the trailer, head down to the gas station, fill up with fuel, reway, see where we're at, see what miles per gallon we got, and give you our give you our final thoughts on it so far. Time to unload and then we will go reway that and fill up with gas that we know what the truck is what mile per gallon was and then we'll give you our full recap go ahead and get fuel and see where we're at on our gas mileage if you have a diesel truck and you don't already have gloves in your truck, always have gloves for filling up because there's nothing worse than getting diesel on your hands, not realizing it, going in to take a leak. Bad situation. After filling up with fuel, we started at 1,170 miles on the truck and now we're at 1238. So that gives us a distance of 68 miles. And we burnt 6.73 gallons. It gives us gas mileage of 10.10. .10. So just like I thought, 10 miles per gallon. It's kind of what you get when you're towing. Now let's pull over and weigh and see what our total weight was. All right, let's go see what the damage is. Our total is 8,720 just for the truck with Kara and I in it. And with the trailer, we were 18,800. So just over 10,000 pounds. Um, so not a tiny load, but not maxing out this truck by any means. All in all, I was super impressed at how well this did. I know it wasn't that long of a tow, 60 something miles, and not that huge of a load, just over 10,000 pounds, but it towed really, really well. I love the new 10-speed transmission. As we were coming back down from Fountain Green down the canyon, it wasn't really steep enough to give us um, a lot of push on the truck, so the exhaust brake really didn't need to be engaged. Uh, the transmission held back just fine. It rides smooth, quiet, barely could tell it was back there. Um, 10 miles per gallon, like, like they all get, because as my father-in-law says, if you make horsepower, you burn fuel. So that's just what it does. Has horsepower, it's gonna burn some fuel. Same as our Ford and our Ram did. All in all, extremely happy with this truck and towing with it so far. Can't wait to hook on the fifth wheel, get out there, go camping, and see how it does with that. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. Maybe you're like me and just love tow videos and weights and all that sort of stuff. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, all those sort of things. It really helps us out and keeps the channel moving forward. And as always, enjoy your weekend. Thanks.